In this short video, I want to say something uh, that I want to revisit something that uh, Alex uh, Dilworth, my wingman, uh, stated on my live stream um, regarding uh, Jim Harbaugh and Bo Schembechler. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Anwar Youssef Dunbar, and this is Big Discussions 76 Sports. First of all, please like this video, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so once again, speaking of subscriptions, uh, at the time of my shooting this video, I'm at 467, I believe. That means I need 33 more to get to that next uh, milestone, which is 500 subscribers. So please, Help me get to 500 subscribers. The, the subscriptions and the likes are free. I wanted to revisit something uh, that uh, we talked about on my uh, last live stream on the day that the uh, when we were supposed to have the uh, Maryland Michigan game up at the big house. Uh, as of now, it's unknown whether or not the Wolverines will go down to uh, the horseshoe to play uh, Ohio State. Uh, this is a pre-recorded video, so in the time it takes to process, render, and upload the video, uh, that decision uh, may have been made, and they may go down. And then again, uh, you know, they may not. Which will, um, if they don't go, that's going to leave a a long-lasting um, sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. But I wanted to just say a few words on something me and uh, my wingman Alex talked about uh, towards the end of that live stream when he came in. And when, after we started talking about um, what Joe Milton said about, I'm going to come back and hang 50 on the Michigan football program, one of the things that I thought about was, wow, how could um, how could Jim have a locker room like this? H having played uh, under Bo, uh, having uh, played quarterback at the highest level um, in college and then going on to the pros to have some success there, how could you let this happen? It was kind of like in um, uh, Star Wars Episode Three: uh, Revenge of the Sith when after... Uh, Anakin turns to the dark side and massacres all the Jedi. It's kind of like when Obi-Wan looks at uh, Yoda and says, how could this happen? How could this be? <laughs> yeah, so, and, and so Alex replied, you know, Jim is not Bo. And I think that when you talk about replacing Jim and bringing in the next coach, uh, it's it's been expressed that we have to, as a fan base, as a football program, and as a, as a university, we have to ditch the whole Michigan man thing. And, you know, the assumption is when you look at, um, this is, this is going to be about coaching in general. When you look at sports, all across sports, when you look at the great coaches, uh, it could be Bill Walsh, it could be... Mike Krzyzewski, it could be Bill Parcells. When you look at, it could be Dean Smith. The assumption is, and it's romanticized, that you have these grandfatherly uh, patriarchal coaches and they have these, these coaching trees under them. And I think the assumption is when you have a great coach, all of their... Um, Everyone who played under them and coached under them is going to be successful. 
Um, and I think that part of the, the romance and the mythology, uh, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, but part of the, um, well, you know what I'm trying to say, part of the allure, or part of the allure of having Jim come back, having played at Michigan, his dad having coached at Michigan, uh, and him having played quarterback at Michigan, part of the allure was, okay, he played under Bo, so he's going to create a program similar to Bo. But I think that when Alex said, you know what, he's not Bo, even though Jim played under Bo, maybe there are, for example, personality traits and quirks and uh, shortcomings that uh, Jim possesses internally that Bo didn't possess. So perhaps there are fundamental things, even though Jim had those teachings, even though Jim had to prove himself to Bo, uh, even though um, they went to the Rose Bowl and did all, all these things, and even though Jim had has a storied history as a Michigan quarterback, maybe there are things about him that just didn't uh, translate to creating um, that same type of program that the, uh, the patriarch and the grandfather of our historic Michigan football program was able to do. Um, so, and, and it's also a different era. Uh, there was no college football playoff uh, when Bo was a coach. There was no transfer portal when Bo was a coach. Uh, there was no social media when Bo uh, was the coach. It was a, a much much different time. So I just wanted to uh, shoot this short video on that. I thought when Alex said that, that was very profound. And I think that, yeah, I think we all assumed that since Jim came from that lineage, uh, we would see something similar. Now, Bo had his detractors as well. You know, a lot, a lot of people have pointed out that, um, you know, he didn't do well in the bowl games. And um, he was a good in-conference coach, but his Michigan football teams didn't perform well, or they didn't always perform well in the bowl games. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, there's a, there is a series of hard decisions that have to be made uh, in, Ann, in Ann Arbor um, by the president, by the athletic director, by Jim himself, and... Uh, you know, some of the players who Jim has been recruiting, there there's a series of hard decisions that have to, have to be made right now. So I'm going to stop this here. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please like this video. Please share it. And please, once again, subscribe to my channel. If you want to make a small donation or, you know, whatever your spirit inclines you to do, I'm, I'm going to leave my Cash App and my PayPal in the description box below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Go blue, and as always, remember that your attitude determines your altitude. Take care, and I'll talk to you the next time. Bye-bye.